QMake handles linking a little bit differently. So far we've talked about pre-target depends, post-target depends, but now we're going to talk about before linking and after linking. After linking is usually what you're looking for if you want to do some sort of cleanup script. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to say console app and I'm going to do this end to end so you can see there's really no wizardry here. I'm not hiding anything from you. So we're going to say Q5 design patterns and this is 12.3. And we're just going to leave everything the default. Got no compile output because we've done absolutely nothing. And we've got just a blank project file with nothing in it. First things first, we need to, you guessed it, add general empty file. And let's call this prelink.py. No, I do not want to install any goodness. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to paste some Python script in here. It's going to say script run before linking. And then we're going to import OS. We're going to get an array from listdir. And then we're going to print that out. And then I'm going to say script finished. Very, very simple. And now I want to go add new, general, empty file. Let's say post link. Again, this is a Python file. And I'm going to take the most complex Python program on the planet. This is the same thing. It just says after linking. All right. Really very bare bones basic. Now we can go into our project here. You may be thinking, oh, great. Now we've got to go through and do all this fancy stuff with target depends. And nope, we don't need to do any of that. So we can say QMake. They actually made this a little bit easier. I'm going to say pre-link and then we got to be a little bit careful because this is the same thing as a command line so I'm gonna say Python 3 whatever our directory is and we want the prelink.py now we can say qmake You guessed it, post link. And then we could pretty much just copy and paste this. Let's go ahead and save our project file and you can see it parses it. And as long as you didn't hit any little red bars here, everything's good. So they made this drastically simpler for pre and post link. Now remember, in case you skipped that day, we're all the way here in the build process. So We've done our pre-processing, we've done our compilation, and now we're getting ready to link the pre-link, and then we have linked, or after everything's been created. Spoiler alert, let me post some notes in here. I want to put this right up front. Expect this to be slightly different based on the OS and the compiler. These are not guarantees, they're a best effort. I have personally never had any real major problems with them, but if you're expecting like some specific timing, don't even count on it. There's no guarantees of any kind. So, all right, let's open up our compile output. Again, we're just doing the pre-link and the post-link running Python scripts. All right, so what we've got here, we have started through and it says script run before linking. Notice how we've got our main O and then script run after linking. And sure enough, there is our binary right there, which is missing from the array previously. So you can see in this example, it is working. Again, buyer beware, you may run into specific issues, especially if you've got some weird timing issue on your hardware or your compiler has some sort of special thing that it's doing.